Good morning tank friends, let's see if we can make the magic happen once again in the Cromwell. I've got a cup of tea to my left, a mouse in my right hand and I'm ready to go. Now will... Last time I played the Cromwell up against tier 8 tanks it didn't actually go too badly. I got a kill, I made a lot of mistakes but I think I've learned from them. And you might be wondering why I'm playing the Cromwell so much. It's not really because the Comet which comes after the Cromwell has much going for it. It looks pretty normal, I guess. I don't have many other tier 7 medium tanks to compare it to, so obviously it's hard to say, but it looks kind of like a slightly slower Cromwell. The gun doesn't seem to compare particularly well, like stat-wise, to the... Alright, everyone's coming this way, man. To sort of the other tier 7 medium tank guns the penetration looks a bit eh. but I'm sure it's going to have some charm no, I'm really doing this because I enjoy playing tier 6 medium tanks so much that it seems like I might as well just stick with this for, quite, for a while at least until I get bored of it I feel like that's part of the oh, crumbs there's the big boys part of the the way of, I guess, getting good, as the cool kids say, is to play the same vehicle over and over again to kind of get some consistency, because it's not, it's hard to learn how to play the game or how to use a particular tank well. Not that I am actually doing much of anything here. I hate our six. Ah! Woohoo! Oh! I am a little scared of everything around here. So, I6, yeah, it's the I6. Well, the best I can do is kind of passively spot, I guess. Keep an eye on them. I hope I might get a cheeky, a cheeky tank track shot there. There we go. Switch to high explosives, take out the tracks, job's good and hide behind the building, and we win. Uh, did we just win? 